Alexandra from Fausic Health. Today I'm going to show you how to make the perfect ice cream. Maybe you've seen some of my ice cream videos on Instagram or actually they are banana ice cream but we call them ice cream. The, one of the most common questions I get daily is how do I make my ice cream so thick and creamy, like almost like ice cream. Another very common question I get is what kind of blender do I use and here it is. It's a Vitamix. It's a Vitamix Pro 300. You can read about this Vitamix in the description down below in a link that I have. In this video I'm gonna make a um, pink pitaya ice cream. This is a pink pitaya. And we actually just need a little bit because the color is so intense and it's quite watery. We don't want much liquid or water in it. So I think a quarter of this will be enough. And I want to put it in the bottom of the blender so that um, it blends more easily. So a quarter. When I don't make like this pink pattern ice cream, I often use like frozen mango. And if I would use frozen mango, I would use like a quarter cup of plant milk so that it can blend easily. But now, because this is so watery, I don't need plant milk. And of course we will need some bananas. Before you freeze your bananas, make sure they are totally ripe. Like black dots should be on the, um, on the skin. And you can just freeze them like this whole and when you will make your ice cream you just you just chop them up in small pieces. The most important thing when you make ice cream is that your bananas are frozen. You can't make thick ice cream with fresh bananas. And if you have this kind of blender, you have to make sure that you have enough volume because otherwise it won't make that nice little swirl. <laughs> that is so satisfying to watch. So here we go. When we start, we always want to start on the lowest, like one, and then go up to a three and use the tamper all the time because otherwise it won't run. And when it starts to like uh, crumble and blends a little, blend a little bit, we want to increase the speed to like a 4 or a 5. But not more than 5 because otherwise this machine can actually stop. If you have a Vitamix, you probably will need to um, release air bubbles from the bottom before you can have the nice swirl. Just release like that and then push it down again. So it already starts to look like ice cream. The consistency, as you can see, is it's exactly or almost like a soft serve, soft serve ice cream. And it's so creamy and so thick. If you want to do a thick ice cream like this, you have to use frozen bananas as a base, and then from there you can choose whatever fruit you want to like color it or flavor it. And today I chose pink pitaya, but you can also use like frozen mango and you can also use fresh mango. So you know I always use coconut bowls for my ice creams. 
And if you want a 10% discount on this, you can find the link in the description down below. They're from a brand called Coconut Bones. I love them. Let's see if I can do this without seeing it. <laughs> I don't know if you can see, but it smokes from the ice cream because it's so cold and we're standing in a 30 degrees heat right now. So this will melt super fast. Yeah, I think that's pretty enough. This is the second most satisfying thing I know to like, I don't know what, flatten it out to make room for toppings, but yeah, I don't have any toppings today, but you can top it with whatever fruit you like, and boom, you have a healthy vitamin and mineral packed ice cream. You can absolutely make this kind of uh, ice cream in a food processor as well. Just make sure that the food processor has at least around 700 to 900 um, watts. You may have to keep on blending a little bit more longer than in a Vitamix, but it's worth it. My mom always made ice cream in a food processor, so it works. I really hope you like this tutorial or guide and I really hope that you succeed making this nice game.